All right, this time we're going to decide if two ratios are equivalent. So to do this, it takes two steps. The first step is to look at your ratios that you have. We're going to start with this one right up here. We have the ratios 5 to 8 and 10 to 12. The first thing that I need to do is make sure that they are both written in simplest form. In this case, 5 to 8 is already in simplest form. There's no number other than 1 that can go into both 5 and 8. However, with 10 and 12, it's not in simplest form. There is a number that can go into both 10 and 12. Since they're both even, I'm going to start off by using the number 2. 10 divided by 2 is 5. And 12 divided by 2 is 6. Then I'll ask myself again, is there a number that can go into both 5 and 6? There's no number that can go into both 5 and 6, so it's in its simplest form. I'm then going to compare these two ratios, and they have to look absolutely identical. So the first one, the first number in both of them is 5. However, the second number is different. This one is 8, and this one is 6. So if I were to ask you if these were equivalent ratios, you should tell me, no, they are not equivalent. So let's come over to this one and look. We have 7 to 9 and 42 to 54. Well, 7 to 9, again, is already in simplest form. There's no number that can go into both 7 and 9. So I'm going to look at the 42 and the 54 and ask myself, is there a number that can go into 42 and 54? Now, you could do this two ways. You could do the greatest common factor method that I showed you on the simplifying ratios um, video, or you could just take it a step at a time. For instance, I know because that these are both even numbers that 2 can go into both of them. And if you want to use a calculator, feel free to. No big deal. So I'm going to divide both sides by 2. 42 divided by 2 is 21. And 54 divided by 2 is 27. Then I'm going to ask myself, is there a number that can go into both 21 and 27? Yeah, I think the number 3 can go into both of them. So I'm going to try dividing both sides of this ratio by 3. So 21 divided by 3 is 7. And 27 divided by 3 is 9. And again, ask yourself, is there a number that can go into both 7 and 9? In this case, the answer is no. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to compare this ratio in simplest form and this ratio in simplest form. Since they look identical, they both have 7 colon 9, then yes, these ratios, the original one, are in fact equivalent. So I would write yes. Okay, I'm going to do one more with you. I have 12 to 16 and 15 to 20. So we need to first write both of these in simplest form. I'm going to start with the 12 to 16. What's a number that can go into both 12 and 16? Well, since they're both even, I'm going to use the number 2. 12 divided by 2 is 6. And 16 divided by 2 is 8. Now, maybe some of you right away saw that 4 would work for both of these, and you already have it in its simplest form. Good job. That's awesome. I'm going to take it in baby steps in this video. So I'm at 6 and 8, okay, and I'm going to ask myself, is there, pro or is there any number that can go into both 6 and 8? My answer to the question is yes. They're both even, so I'm going to do 2 again. 6 divided by 2 is 3, and 8 divided by 2 is 4. That means this is my simplest form for this ratio, okay? 3 to 4 is simplest form for 12 to 16. Now I'm going to move to 15 to 20. So I'm going to think of a number that can go into both 15 and 20. I think the number 5 is going to work. So 15 divided by 5 is 3, and 20 divided by 5 is 4. This ratio is now in simplest form. Since these are the simplest forms, these are what I compare. So I have 3 to 4 and 3 to 4. Because I can answer yes, these simplest forms match. That means these ratios, in fact, are equivalent. 12 to 16 and 15 to 20 
our equivalent ratios. Again, I hope this helps. If you have questions, make sure to ask, please.